welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Jess and I wanted to switch it up and do a little sweater thrift flip. So here's the sweater before. It's pretty oversized. It has a nice mock neckline and balloon sleeves. So here's it on me. It's a nice sweater. I thrifted it last year at a local consignment shop, but I just want to revamp it and make it a little more fitted and make it into a two-piece set. I'm just measuring out where I want to reduce the size of my sleeves, where my arm is, and then just a little mark to kind of have an idea of where I want to cut for the DIY arm warmers. I'm just measuring along to make sure I do an even cut on both sleeves. So I'm just cutting a few inches off of the sleeves essentially to make them less baggy and more fitted rather than the balloon sleeve that the shirt came with. I'm also just marking the center point of my shirt. So I'm just cutting up the sleeve where I made that pencil mark. And then cutting down the sleeve. Now I'm just drawing out where I'm going to be cutting or cropping my arm warmers or shrug, whatever we want to call this piece. I'm cutting the front layer first. I'm not cutting the front and back layer at the same time. I am going to cut the back layer just a little bit longer than the front. And now I'm just gonna turn my shirt inside out and just see what I'm working with here. I'm pinning along the bottom of each of the sleeves, which is where I'm going to re-sew them back together. And for the whole process of this DIY sweater thrift flip, I'm kind of just winging it along the way. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful or just entertaining. But yeah, I kind of was just winging it, but it did end up turning out pretty nice. I'm just sewing along the bottom of the sleeves just to close them back up. And because I'm using a knit fabric, I'm using a stretch stitch. And then for this arm warmer piece, I'm just going to hem the bottom of it so that it's not fraying. To do that, I'm just folding it over about a quarter of an inch, pinning it in place, and then just sewing right over that. And I'm using a stretch stitch for this entire project. Here is what we're working with so far. Clearly I need to close up the armholes. So I'm just marking a few inches along where I'm gonna sew. Yeah, so basically I'm just sewing over this to close it up more so that it is more fitted around my armpit area. I did it to both sides. I'm just gonna trim the excess fabric. And this is what it looks like when it's turned right sides out. Here is the first piece. Again, I don't really know what this is called. I feel like it's an arm warmer or it's like a pullover shrug. Whatever we want to call it. These were trending a lot last year. I feel like they're really cute.
for the second piece, I'm just using the rest of the fabric to make a tank top. I'm just placing a tank top I already own over it just to have an idea of how I want to cut my pieces. And again, I'm kind of just winging this. It ended up working out, but there's probably a better or more legit way to make a tank top. But here's just how I did it. ended up just trimming it a little bit slimmer. So on each piece, I'm just going to hem along the edges for the sleeves and for the neckline. This way I don't have to worry about fraying or it kind of falling apart. If you're working with a knit fabric as well, like I am here, just have a little bit of patience. It's definitely going to take a little bit longer sewing with the stretch stitch. Here I just hemmed both of the front and back pieces, the necklines and the armholes. and then I sewed them together along the sides, flipped it right side up, and here is what that looks like. Also sewed the top of the straps together. Now my tank top is a fully put together piece and I'm just gonna do a finishing touch of a little neckline dart. The top ended up being a little bit big on my bust, so that's why I also wanna do this dart. and I'm making sure my dart is lined up with the center of my shirt. And here's how I pinned it. It's kind of like two small darts that meet together in the middle. And once I have that pinned, I'm just gonna sew over that to secure it in. Here's the completed set. I really like how it came out. I have the first piece, which is the DIY arm warmer or pullover shrug, and then the tank top piece. And here is it on. Again, I feel like it fits pretty good and make sure, like I said, if you're using a knit fabric like this, that you are sewing with a stretch stitch. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe for more vlogs and maybe some more thrift flips if I wanna get creative again. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you all in my next video.